Hello! Welcome back to my beautiful pit. <laughs> I saw a very funny comment saying, It's not a bad starter base, it's a starter camp. <laughs> On Twitch, we call that copium. But it did give me an idea. A camp would actually be quite fun to build as a starter base. So, that's what we're gonna do. But first, meet... Fred. Hello, Fred. Fred sells emeralds for coal. And as it has it, coal with a fortune pickaxe is very easy to come by early game. And I need that because I'm gonna make a hammer. Look at it. Oh, but I just realized I'm gonna need a picking jewel. And I might just as well put this immortality jewel on it. Vanilla immortality works kind of like I'm breaking. It just has a chance to not take damage. The difference is you can stack it to 100%, making the tool completely unbreakable in the overworld. And that's pretty cool. Now I have a hammer with attitude. It's hammer time. That is so satisfying. In reality, though, I, I just need this because I want to collect some blocks for, for my camp. But check it out! Seriously, the hammers are great. They're absolutely awesome. Look at all this stuff. Like one one minute of, of hammering. Now, as far as my uh, uh, camp build goes, I have scouted out this little uh, shelf overlooking my very own uh, <laughs> village. It comes with a, a pumpkin, a nice little cave entrance, and as I say, just a beautiful view in general. And I think with a little bit of work, this would... Excuse me, it also comes with zombies, apparently. I think with a little bit of work, this could be a great place for a camp. Hmm. I wonder, do I have in this mess of a monster enough burger parts? Yeah, I probably do. Put these together. And that should bring me to level 7. Brilliant. Which then allows me to take one level in haste. Which means that I can... Still not install my dirt and grass. <laughs> I can't get to level 8, I assume. No, no. It's just <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Good burgers, though. Mm, yummy. To be fair, Vein Miner does a pretty good job at removing some of this. Okay, get rid of this stupid path. Ah, these uh, palisad things, which look amazing, they give it sort of a a fort vibe. So this is like a this is like a fort hill camp, f f fort hill camp. However, in order for it to actually become a proper starter base, it needs some critical components. It's time to make a sickle. It's so beautiful. At least I think I can use this to. Yes, I can use this to till the land fortune and I'm breaking on it. So let's make a home for our dear friends. Carrots. Potato. <laughs> Literally just one, one potato. Wheat and flax. Yep, flax. You know the thing that grows and you can harvest to get string? <laughs> it's, it's a very good one. Not a bad start. I must be the slowest, most inefficient builder in this video game. Because I've been at this for the past three hours. I have no idea where the time has gone so far. I've, I've got a cozy bench place, a random chest, my amazing farms, a bed, and a shelf. And, and this thing, which is... <laughs> Which is just an an empty 9x9. Nine nine. To be fair though, I will say I do really like the vibe that this whole place is given. And from down here, it looks like a castle. <laughs> I, 
I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> it looks very weird. Maybe I should just put it on the floor. Oh, but now... Now there is a height difference. Hmm. Now one of the most important builds in this mod pack arguably must be the vault portal. And I think that this... This little dark, deep entrance, dark entrance, feels perfect for a vault portal. Yep, cozy and functional. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very special nine by nine. Aha! I think this may be my favorite little table. You know what? This place is is actually coming along great. Not that it's very functional though, because I, I haven't got any storage set up, but I mean, everything, everything in due time. And I think for now, I want to switch gears and continue the quest line. Literally switching gears to scrapping gears. We need to craft a vault recycler. Recycler, right. I wonder if I have enough carbon for this. I have a netherite ingots, that's good. 36 carbon. Do I actually not have more? Carbon or steel? Mm, doesn't look like it. I guess my I guess it's time to check out if the if the cozy portal is also functional. Is that that sand, arrows, copper, and leaves? I did see a comment about the quantities of the vault altar being very low, and they they scale. Don't worry, they get they get more and more and more the more crystals you craft, and also the uh, items that show up changes when you hit certain level thresholds. So towards end game of Vault Hunters, you're gonna need thousands of these things, which incentivizes you to build farms. I wonder if I can use my sickle, even though it doesn't have silk touch. Yes, I can, because it's like it's like shears. That's that's all I need. <laughs> Let's leave that UFO floating <laughs> overlooking the land. And then I need copper. Perfect, I actually have it cooked up. Brilliant. Let's leave the hammer at home and grab you. You can also leave the sickle at home. I got a nice collection of tools. Oh, by the way, you remember earlier when I uh, <laughs> when I when I went into haste and was like, oh, that would let me insta mine. Uh, nope, I didn't have efficiency five on that shovel. <laughs> yep, I should bring an axe this time. I don't want to forget that axe. Oh, bounty. Gotta try and select a bounty. Complete any vault for, <laughs> for another elytra and some knowledge in diamonds and vault ingots. Find nine vault meat. Oh, oh, that's a lot of steel. Vault meat is in living chests and kill skeletons for a few mystery boxes and some boots. I honestly think that this is the best one. Let's activate this and look for living chests. Bounties are so good. They add so much to this game. And can I do this vault in my elytra again? I should probably at the very least bring a chest plate. <laughs> By the way, this is this is the definition of in-between bases having to fly back and forth. This chest plate, sure. Well, I don't know if that was the one that I used. And also, since I have one of these that I got in a crate, haste won't do anything for me in the vaults right now. So I think I'm going to unlearn that and... Take another point in strength. I, I seriously think that strength is so good early game. And with that much strength, I think I could maybe afford to half the damage of my javelins, uh, but let them pierce instead. Yeah, let's try piercing javelins. All right, time to find out if this portal is indeed functional. It is. Yes, that's a great, that's a great little starting portal build. I like that. Oh, we got a bonus modifier, a bonus ornate, and I still have beginner's insurance. Did I, did I change that? I thought that, that was up to level five. Yes, I, I made, I made the game with my team, and yes, I don't know everything. It's a pretty big thing. Desert theme again. That's that's sad. Don't get to see new themes. All right, so our javelin does significantly less damage, but as I say, it will be able to pierce things. Ah, living chest. Okay, let's try out the pierce. Yeah, a lot of le a lot less damage, but it hit both. Oh, give me some vault meat. Ooh, oh, that was that was that was a pro swing right there. Vault meat, yes, some vault meat. Some more vault meat. Oh, this is great. And oh, no vault meat. <laughs> Could have been a perfect. To be fair though, five out of nine in in two chests. That feels pretty good. Oh, I really need coin affinity, but now I can at least vein mine these. Nice. 
Aha. Oh, and this is an ore room. I may actually, I, I do need Benutite. Even though Benutite is a thing that increases, you get more Benutite. Yeah, poison mobs. You get more Benutite after level 10, so it may not be ideal to try and get my first knowledge star worth of Benutite yet. But a little bit of mining is never wrong. Ah, that was satisfying. There's a bonus ornate chest there. Ooh, carbon. Nice. Aha! I see a Valora. Nope, no favor this time. I don't know if the piercing javelin was worth it because of the way the mobs spawn in at this level. There's not a lot of mobs. So maybe it was... It would have been better to not spec into it, but I mean, it's fine. It's okay. We can always unspec it. It's very satisfying to hit mobs like that, I'm not gonna lie. Makes you feel very good. Oh, wait. I completely forgot that I can mine. I can mine the wooden chest now, or the, uh, the, the ornate chests. You know what? I forgot my potion. <laughs> Typical. I felt like there was something that I didn't have with me. There's my second monolith. Now all I need is some living chests, and I see a bunch of living chests up there. Come on. That's two more bolt meat. Nice. That's another one. I should be finished here very shortly. Yes, there it is. Easy. And that is all of the chromatic steel I need. I've got two of these bonus four hearts. Look at my, look at my health. I got a lot of hearts, although they're empty. Ooh, that's another Schalke shell. That, that's more living. Friends, line up. <laughs> it's great success. Reaper. Do it. Do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need throw power. Sir. Okay, I'm just gonna stand there. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> that was just mega satisfying. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> the creeper died from my poison. I love the poison cloud. This is a lot of living chests. Oh, only four minutes remaining. Wait, what? What happened with my time? Well, I guess it's time to get back. Oof. I love having an Elytra. <laughs> it's very helpful. Two thirty remaining, but this is ornate chest up there. I got it. I got agreed. Fly gracefully down. This is getting a little bit edgy right now. 1.30. Hmm. Grab what I can. <laughs> One minute. I don't know how far away I am. I need to I need to run. I need to run and <laughs> fly and get out of here. Ooh, smooth, nice. I actually think this is my starting room. Yes! Wow, not only did I complete that super bounty, look at the amount of knowledge I collected in here. <laughs> That's a, a, a lot. It's uh, 80, 81. That's over a knowledge star worth in just uh, one vault. This is great. Absolutely great. I rated 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. 10,000 experience. 130 chests. Yeah, this was, this was good. 110 mobs unalived as well. That's level 8. Oh, it looks so cozy to come home. Okay, I'm gonna claim this. That gives me two crates to open. Mmm, first official night in the camp. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is over to the side. I do need to go to my other house, though. Uh, the pit, because uh, that's where I have most of my stuff still. And I guess it would be smart to dilute in the other house. But nine vault diamonds in one vault as well. And two bounty pearls. And then a bunch of uh, silver and bronze. And two Schalke shells. All right, so we can make another Schalke box. That's really good. But the knowledge, man, the knowledge was incredible. I shall make this up to the shards. Yep, that's nine shards in one vault. This is Schalke box number three. Oh, and I got even more stuff in here. Diamonds. Thank you. Right, let's pop the crates. The bounty one we know the ingredients of. That's all of the chromatic steel we need for the quest line. And... Oh, I had my magnet on. Was that a rare? That's a rare plus axe. 
I don't really like axes that much though. Anyway, did I get any nice jewels here? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, I got another regret orb. That's actually quite good. And I need to remember to open my relic boosters as the relics gives you extra time in the vault if you manage to complete them. Quite important. All right, let's have a look at this gear. I mean, I don't use a chest plate at the moment and I got an epic helmet. I don't think I'm gonna beat it. Hmm, so axes have attack range, which swords don't, so they can they can hit targets further away. It's very good if you are skilled enough at like timing your attacks, which I'm, I'm not. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it does have a stun attack chance there as well though, and an empty prefix. It's not a bad axe, it's not a bad axe as well, max roll on the attack damage. But as I say, I'm not good with axes, I'm gonna stick with my sword. The helmet is not great, and the chest plate is not great. And honestly, that's quite fitting, since I'm about to make this thing, the Recycler. Netherite is what I'm missing, and a lava bucket. Lava. Ah. Yep. Recycler, go. Nice. Let's put that over in this corner, and try it out. Nice, some vault scrap, some more vault scrap. Brilliant. Complete the quest and gaining more experience. Crafting and consuming burgers is a great way to gain additional vault experience. We want us to craft a plain burger. Oh, and then I get 10 burgers. Maybe we can get to level 9. I have quite a few burgers. Actually, that vault was great for burgers because I looted, I looted a significant amount of uh, living chests. I can craft 17. And then we get, we get 10? Yeah. Time to munch 27 burgers. We're not gonna get there, are we? It's gonna be close. Yep, one little tiny bar <laughs> remaining. And now the next quest is to get to level 10. Level 10 marks the introduction of elixir. Oh yeah, then we get new elixir objectives. Okay, um, I don't think I have any paths hiding anywhere. Nope, I don't. So we gotta resort to more vault running. And this crystal is easy, thanks to my absolute state-of-the-art sugarcane farm. As far as my skill point goes, I think I want to take one in throw power. That makes my javelins throw a bit faster, which makes it a little bit easier to hit. Bounty, do we have... This one is on cooldown at the moment. Complete a vault or kill skeletons. We'll do the complete a vault because skeletons... I don't, I, I'd have to be lucky and get another desert one. Which, I mean, considering my track record, I'd probably get another desert one. Getting to level 10 in one vault is going to be a little bit difficult. Different things that you do inside the vault have different value. For example, mining ores I know is very valuable, but there aren't that many ores early game. And... Oh, I didn't get a desert theme! Wow, <laughs> we, got a, we got a nice cave. But yeah, mining ores and opening or looting as many chests as possible is always good for XP. Hello, sir. I don't mind if I come into your mine and uh, take, take all your stuff. Oh, bend you tight. Yes. Oh, more bend you tight. Yes. <laughs> Pro skill. Look at these guys. <laughs> the angry candle zombies. So celebrating their birthday every day. Ooh, even more Benny Tite. This is great. I think that was a zero roll though. Black Opal! Please. Yes. And I'll be honest, I was not expecting to find Black Opal this early. Ooh. I got 10 Benny Tite in that first room. And I have four, I think, at home. And it takes 16 to make one knowledge star. If I get two more, I'm pretty sure I can craft my very first knowledge. Smooth? Oh my, a good old friend of mine. Hello there, Sir Sir Cactoni. This room can be very dangerous, but there are a lot of living chests in here. Oh, these boys are fast. They're very fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please. Please calm. I just called in more. Luckily, I didn't forget my potion this time. Okay then, Sir Bumbo. How are we doing in here? 
Lucky bench. <laughs> Perfect. And... Aha! Yep. Pretty sure there's more stuff in his arms. Yep. And in his hat. <laughs> Bumbo is just a treasure that keeps on giving. <laughs> My room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's sad. That was some jewels there. Oh, why did I slip? Stupid TNT. I, I think I saw a lime green jewel, which would have been living affinity. Oh, no. Is there any? I don't think there's any jewel left. <laughs> nope. Piece of ladder, some blocks. Nope. I, I, I think they blew up. That was a bit clumsy. Anyway, that's a monolith. Perfect. Yeah, that was the smoothest flight I've ever done. <laughs> I was lucky, but I'll take it. Hello? Nate? I think I've spawned in this entire room. <gasps> Bolt boots! Woo! With only seven minutes remaining, I wouldn't mind trying to find another ore deposit room. Because, ah! Uh, oh! <laughs> you, you nearly killed me, Mr. Corstart. Wow, that was scary. But if I could find two more Beniotite, then I could unlock, or I could get my first uh, Knowledge Star. That's gonna slow me down a little bit. No charges of my potion either. Oh, what are you? Please be a healing one. Regeneration. Yes. Brilliant. I love the pylons. And there's another one. Oh. <laughs> Regen 4, eh? Don't mind if I do. And this is an ore deposit. Please be, please be some Beniotite in here. Yes! Is that two? That's one. I need one more. Regen 4 is absolutely crazy. I can just run into, the, <laughs> into them. Oh, what is this? Another... Another dragon room! Yep, but I'm definitely not suited for that. Not without coin affinity jewel. Speaking of which, I think that this, this little library there is a gilded library. Yep! Beniotite, hello? That's another dragon room! <laughs> what is going on? It's telling me, go down and do the coins. This guy, I, I can't. Not without coin affinity. Ooh, I got an unidentified magnet there. Wait, I think this may be an ore deposit room. I don't have a lot of time and I'm quite far from spawn, but... Quickly... Stop. Another black opal. Beniotite, is there any Beniotite here? Hello? Beniotite? No, Beniotite. I only got one minute remaining. I may I may not make it. I may not make it. Oh, there's a lot of Laramar there, but I can't. I can't. I gotta try and find my way out. I may have greeted a little bit too much there. Hello there, Mr. Villager. Is this my start room? Actually, nope. <laughs> one more room. I think, I think I'm good, though. As long as I don't crash. Exit? Yes. Woo! Annoying that I couldn't find that one more Beniotite, but I think I got a bunch of goods. I got some boots and a magnet, and I completed the bounty. And we got 10,000 experience, <laughs> 100 chest exactly. I did focus more on ores though. Wait, 111 unalive blobs? Was that the was that the same amount that I had in the one before? No, 110. Ah, we, we got a good good average going there. Let's claim the bounty. That's another light trap. I mean, good to have a backup, I guess. And I hit level 9, but not level 10. <laughs> and I don't think I got many burgers in there. Oh dear, chest monster. Here comes more stuff. I got some jewels, though. Gilded affinity I already have. And copiously... Ooh! Copiously is a very specific uh, modifier. It makes it so that you have a chance of doubling the outcome of an ore 
that you mine inside the vault. It's only work. It only works on generated ores, though, and it works both with fortune and silk touch. So, for example, if I would have silk touch and I would mine an ore inside the vault and copiously would proc, there'd be a little sound, and then I'd get two of the silk touch ores. The same is true for fortune. If I would proc five or four four diamonds when I mine them inside the vault, I would get eight diamonds. Although it only works on vault ore and not actually diamonds, so I don't know why I took that as an example, but you get the point. Copiously is very good. The looting is getting harder and harder. <laughs> Wait, is that eight mystery boxes? That's eight mystery boxes. Bunch of emeralds, nice, and a bunch of Laramar. And just to confirm my theory, yep, I have 15 Benutite, and I need to make one extraordinary, which is 16. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Ooh, a relic. And in terms of burgers, I think I can only make two of these. Yep. That's not gonna do the trick. Right, let's open our crates. That's the Lytra crate. And that's the loot crate. Oh! Oh! A new shield and a bunch of jewels. Oh! And, and a relic! Look at all this gear! That was a jackpot roll. I got these two in the vaults and then four from the crate. What about these? Oh, that's a pretty good jewel. Hmm... Yeah, that picking may be useful. Oh, another copiously at low size. That's good. Oh, a shoveling! Shoveling! Two shovelings! At good sizes. Hammer, hello? You have 31 capacity. Oh, great! Then I'm gonna put the 21 on there. Yep! Changes look a little bit. It's still Omega looking, but now it can mine... Well, I don't want to ruin my base. But now it can also mine uh, dirt. Or, yeah. Anything that can be dug by a shovel. Building tools is really fun. Anyway, let's identify up all of these gear pieces and see if we get any upgrades. I should roll them by the recycler to scare them a little bit. <laughs> nope, not a better magnet. Uh, oh, wait, do I not have vault boots? I don't have vault boots. Okay, well, well, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. That's a, all of them are upgrades. I'm going to use these. Four armor instead of two. More damage and more items looted. Item quantity. Wait, hold on. Maybe... I should, I should, uh, I should add, add a prefix to these common ones, because they may get something great. Like three health, for example. I value hit points more than I value armor early game. Yep, yep, we'll go with these. Let's add nether damage, not really relevant yet. Oh, faceted focuses, these are amazing. These guarantee a roll on your gear when you re-roll it. Now, Thorns damage isn't really what I'm looking for right now at the moment, but yeah, that's it's a great reason to, to scrap things. Into the special room we go. Hello. <laughs> this Loki may be one of my favorite things with the Update 9 features of Vault Hunters. This is just ah, so nice. Such a relief to not have to rely on family members. You know, you know what how they can be annoying and and loud and not give you what you want and all that stuff. Goodbye, boots. Thank you for your services. I think we have to talk about the elephant in the jar, Bobby. I miss Bobby, and and I hope that we can find a new Bobby sometime soon. <laughs> what I meant to say was, <laughs> I think we need to talk about the elephant in the room, and that's not that's not the fact that I didn't get to level 10, or the fact that I'm one Benutite of having my first research point. It's the fact that I spent some time building my Fort Hill camp in order to combat my chest monster, and didn't actually <laughs> move any of my storage up here. I think I should. But before I do, I've got a little bit of a tiny plan. Aha! Let's make a shovel with picking so that it turns into a mattock. This looks... this tool looks so sad. It looks like a pickaxe that was slammed into the hardest of obsidian walls. It just went like... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> anyway, and then <laughs> put smelting on it. And I'm breaking efficiency and silk touch. And now, sand. Nope, glass. I don't know why, but this is this is just omega satisfying to be able to do this. Not even family members can, can compete with getting this much glass this quickly. And check it out on stone. Smooth, smooth stone. Now, I didn't put axing on it, but charcoal. 
I love these tools. They are very, very fun. And glass item frames. Ah, uh, and aha, invisible markers. Vanilla should totally have glass item frames. I think they're they're very nice, very satisfying to label things with. And a label I shall because it's time for me to uh, to uh, to sit here and uh, start moving this stuff. Over. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have seven Shulker shells in the chest monster. I guess that's three more Shulker boxes, huh? Handy. <laughs> this is a genuine attempt of making a chest monster that I could somehow label in a little bit. Fred, it's time to move. I think that's it. I think that's everything. Woof. I should bring my sack. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna miss this place, to be honest, because, uh, well, <laughs> it's, it's very close to my new camp. Look at this place, though, in the night. Look at the new chest monster. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ring the bell for the monster. <laughs> That's the, it's one of the best storage systems I've ever made. It's great. Looks amazing. <laughs> And these arrows to filter things as you go through are so helpful. <laughs> Let's put Fred in the sack for now. <laughs> I have done it! An organized and beautiful, if I do say so myself, chest monster. And Fort Hill Camp feels homely. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah! <laughs> My, my Fort Hill camp. Now I need to find a cow. Oh no, why did I fly over the village? Oh, it's cold. No. It's great. Absolutely great. Just what I needed. Alright, come on then. Villagers, they're uh, stupid idiots. Anyway, I, I guess I guess Fred will be happy with me. Hero of the village. Hero, more like hero of Fred, because there's no other there's no other family member around this place. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's uh, that's gonna do it for today. I uh, really do hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Next time we will get to level 10 as we're nearly there. And we're going to try out Elixir Vaults. They are great fun. And maybe we'll even get into Black Markets. And we'll probably also get our first Knowledge Star and unlock our first research. Very, very exciting. But yeah, as I said, that's going to do it for today. So if you did enjoy the episode, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode.